You're an idiot. Now, listen to me. I'm going to tell you what's what. This is the sort of language that is rampant in social media, and especially when it comes to activism. I told you guys I was going to talk about the language of judgment. So here it is. It's the tip of the iceberg. I want you to start out by going to Messy Mondays, all right? Go there, come back. Go back and forth. Doesn't matter to me. But check it out. They've got a video called You're Not an Activist. It's pretty funny. I mean, I find it hilarious, but it does point to a pretty serious issue. And that's the way that we're talking about people who try to get involved, people who want to look like they're involved, people who may not be doing a whole lot, but who would like to look like they're involved in big issues. Now, whatever your level of involvement, whether it's clicking like or posting something, whether you're really doing anything at all, the people who are forming a counterculture to this, who are forming this backlash, don't really know what's behind your like. And I want to point that out first and foremost, because I'm a person who clicks like too. We've all clicked like on something, right? You don't know me. You don't know the person on the other end of that like, whether it's me or the hundreds of thousands or millions of other people who have ever clicked like since its inception. You don't know what's on the other end of that. It could be someone like me, someone who's been volunteering since they were 15, someone who's been in soup kitchens, someone who's volunteered for the Red Cross, someone who's volunteered for an AIDS organization, someone who has volunteered with women coming from situations of abuse, someone who has been there in nonprofit, in social sectors, trying to make a bit of a difference. You don't know who's on the other end of that like, all right? So let's just start out there. And it very well may be that it's someone who isn't that invested and who isn't really doing something. But I mean, who's going to define what doing something is? Who's gonna define what activism really means? Who's a real activist? Are you? Am I? Who gets to define that and for whom? To sit back and call people out to shame them, to humiliate them, to use this language that only insults people is certainly no more mobilizing than anything else that's happening. So if you're standing back in judgment of someone saying you need to be doing something, if you say you're going to do something, do something. If you say that something's important, then back up those words. You are not going to accomplish that by calling that person names, right? I mean, I think that this is a pretty simple truth that if you have a criticism of another individual or a group of people because they're not really doing anything, they're not mobile enough, they're not active enough for you, does staring down your nose at them and calling them names make them any more mobile? Does offending people make them any more likely to become empowered to do anything at all? I don't think so. And I don't think that I want to be someone on that end of judgment, using a language that belittles people, that humiliates people, that shames people, and that pushes them down so that they can't rise up, so that there can't be a groundswell of activity, so that people can't really be activists, whatever you want that to mean. But I'll tell you what is going to make that difference. This is one thing, all right? Just one thing. And there are so many things. And I hope you post your comments because your ideas are going to be so fantastic. I'm sure they'll be way better than mine. I have one idea for you, all right? Just one. Get out and volunteer. I swear to God, it will do so much for your life, for the people around you. This is the way that we need to get people active, to encourage each other, to have conversations without the language of judgment. We need to use a language of inclusion, okay? And that means getting out and volunteering with organizations that work with people who are disenfranchised, people who are vulnerable, people who need a little bit of a hand get out, spend a little bit of time with these organizations and see what life is like for someone other than yourself. This is how we're going to develop the empathy that we need to speak to each other. 
without the language of judgment. This is how we're going to develop feelings for each other as human beings so that we're not so attached to our judgments, not so attached to our own personal standards, and so that we can accept that everybody out there is living life the best way that they know how, and we need to accept them as they are without the judgment to be able to move forward together. Get out and volunteer, 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 volunteer. This is how we're going to create a real movement towards action, all right? When we start getting connected to each other, when we start developing those skills of empathy. And I'm not telling you anything new here. Volunteer organizations, nonprofits, the, uh, the social sector, these are the places that are always hit hardest. They are always the places losing their funding first. When governments start slashing, these are the organizations that lose out the most and the people that they're serving are the most vulnerable among us. If you are fortunate enough to have the time to stand back and look down at someone else who wants to feel good about doing something, then you have the time to pick up the phone, to Google, to search them out however you can. Volunteer organizations in your own community, donate a little bit of your time, learn a little bit more about other people and stop standing in judgment, please. I would love for you to post your own comments about this. I'm going to follow up on this again and again and again because it is so rampant. There's really so much language, uh, so many insults flying around at people creating this conflict-ridden relationship where activism could be the people united together. They're just factions who are fighting with each other. It's not good enough. You're not good enough. You're not doing enough. You're not doing the right thing. We got to stop it, all right? We need to sit down and start listening and take out that judgment, open up our minds a little bit and be empathetic to the plight of all human beings. All right, we're all in it together. Thanks very much for watching this little clip on the Jane Eden. Post your comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out. Check me out uh, in the numerous places that I am. I'm gonna post it all below. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again really soon.